the fast of Daniel. 21 days to feed on the word. May God bless all of you on this third day of our fast of Daniel. 21 days we chose to do this fast until the 16th of July. 21 days that you will have the opportunity to know more about the thoughts of God, receive the Holy Spirit, if that's what you want, if you don't have it yet, and you really know, understand the need of receiving the Holy Spirit. It's not an option. Don't see the Holy Spirit as an option in your life. The Holy Spirit must be a need or He is. We have the need to receive it. But if you see it has only an option in your life, so you will not put all the effort that you could to receive it. You will just do a, th a few things and with the thought of, well, if I receive, okay, if not, well, it's okay also. So please, I hope that you who have been watching our programs and will keep watching every morning this special program talking about the Holy Spirit and this fast of Daniel, you may open your understanding in regards to the presence of God. And what you also can do to receive it, that's what every day we'll come here talking about. Yesterday, we gave to you one of the things or one of the steps or tips. And today I will give another one to you. But it's important that you also understand these tips or steps that we give to you doesn't mean that you have to follow them on this order. They are just only for you to understand and look to inside of you and see if one of or more of these things that we will talk about, you need to do it or if you already do them. Okay, so before we talk about our today's verse and also tip or step, I want you to watch this video that talks about God's thoughts, God's thoughts. After it, I will come with you with a verse of the Bible and also we'll pray and seek the Holy Spirit together. One man Abram, my Lord, one request, I am Almighty God, walk before me and be blameless. How could God ask us of us human beings, knowing how imperfect we are? How could we ever be able to fulfill that request? To walk in the presence of God and to think the thoughts of God. It all happens right here. The starting point for our actions is when we think and then use our imagination to navigate through the thoughts that we chose to dwell on. We are free to travel through time. Our thoughts enable us to accomplish unbelievable things, as well as to commit barbaric crimes. As we think, so we are. How many have people given their minds over to thoughts of death, of vengeance, 
of inferiority and have surrendered to the thoughts they absorb. They are slaves to their thoughts. They don't reason. They just live by what they feel or allow themselves to feel. The world is drowning in a sea of feelings and emotions. The God of this age has created a lifestyle that occupies people with his thoughts 24 hours a day just so he can keep them from spending time to think for themselves. Our heart is deceptive. It causes humanity to just feel rather than reason. God is both word and spirit. He doesn't work through our hearts, but with our minds. Rational faith and feelings are like water and oil they don't mix. What God asked of Abraham is what he wants from each one of us. It's true, we are imperfect. But when his thoughts enter into our minds, his perfection becomes installed in our lives. Perfect peace. Perfect joy. It was something glorious. that changed me from the inside. It changed my mentality. It changed how I react. I learned at the Universal Church how to use intelligent faith, a faith that is not motivated by emotions, but actually works. This is where we find the thoughts of the Most High. It's a map of incalculable riches. The Word of God is a secret treasure that is hidden from the world, from the unbelievers, from those who are proud. But it's available for all who are simple and humble. Whoever absorbs the riches of this Word is led by its Spirit, the Holy Spirit. It's no use to change your body, your clothes, your bank account or your relationships to find the happiness that you've dreamed of having. What needs to change first are your thoughts. Change them and you change everything. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God? They cannot be numbered. And as you could see, the thoughts of God means the spirit of God. Like our thoughts means our spirit, because mind and spirit are connected. Has also the mind of God, the spirit of God are connected. It's written in the Bible, who knows the thoughts of God, if not the spirit of God. And who knows the man, the thoughts of the, of ma the man, if not his spirit, the spirit of the man. So... Thoughts are connected. Uh, thoughts and spirit is the same thing. And our spirit needs to be uh, submitted to the spirit of God. You know why sometimes some people, they need or they know what they need to do to change, but they don't have the strength or the will to do it, to change? Because their spirit is not connected or submitted to the Spirit of God. Once your spirit is submitted to the Spirit of God, your spirit receives from the Spirit of God the strength, the courage, all that he needs to change and also to control the desires of your heart, the negative or the sinful desires we could say and for those who want to receive the spirit of god because you want to please god you want to become a child of god one of the things is what the lord jesus said if you love me keep my commandments and i will pray the father and he will give you another helper 
was talking about the Holy Spirit, that he may abide with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The Spirit of truth. So let's think and understand this. One of the things or one of the steps that you need to make in order for you to receive the Holy Spirit is the desire of walking in the truth. Walking in the truth. Obey to God's commandments. Obey to God's will. If you are someone that have that desire, you really want to please God, you really want to obey to Him, you really want to give your life to Jesus, more than just saying words, I give you my life, more than just saying words, but you really want to show through your actions and reactions that your life belongs to the Lord Jesus. You want to obey to His words. So, if you show that to God, you really want that, you will need the Holy Spirit because without it or without Him will be impossible to obey to God and walk in His presence. And that's why the Lord Jesus said that if you love me, keep my commandments and I will pray the Father. So if you want to keep my commandments, I will pray the Father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth. So that's something that you need to show. Let me explain you this way. If you say to God that you want the Holy Spirit, if you say to God that you believe in Him, however, you do not want to obey to His Word, you do not show that interest of knowing the will of God and also you don't show to Him the effort to practice His Word, you are not showing also, you are not showing that you want to receive the Holy Spirit. Because He will come, the Holy Spirit will come upon those who want to obey to the Word of God, who want to walk in truth, those who are willing to, to uh, uh, give, to abandon, give up sin, abandon a life of um, sin, sins and mistakes and wrong choices, following the desires of your heart, following the thoughts of this world. You really want to please God. You really want to become a child of God. Live in this world of darkness as a child of light. Live in a kingdom of injustice, but live in justice. And that's only possible through the Holy Spirit, with His help. So if you want to do that, I would like now to seek the Holy Spirit with you, so you may receive it, so you may be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And if you can come today to the church, today, Tuesday, you can come 10 a.m., 3 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. You can make your prayer also here in the church and seek the Holy Spirit every day in all our services. We separate a time, some minutes, to seek the Holy Spirit with those who are in the service. So if you really want, do your best today to pass, to come to one of our locations, one of our branches, so you may seek the Holy Spirit. But if you can, where you are now, close your eyes, raise your thoughts to God, 
so you you can seek the presence of God and who knows right now be baptized with the Spirit of God when we pray to God we can receive strength courage faith peace and anything we sincerely ask for take advantage of this moment close your eyes and raise your thoughts to God it's time to pray Holy Spirit, we raise our thoughts to you now and our words, my Lord, and present ourselves before you who are the helper, the helper the Lord Jesus said he would send to guide us, the Spirit of truth. And so many people now who gather, who join us in this prayer, they are sincere in their faith. They are sincere, and you know that. Even living a wrong life, living in sin, living in making wrong choices, but they are sincere. They don't know how to stop all that. And sometimes it's not that they don't know. They even know what they have to do. They start doing what is right. But at some point, they stop and they return to what is wrong. They go back on their faith. They go back to sins, wrong choices. And they suffer because they know the truth. They know what they have to do, but they don't have the strength to keep doing it. So my Lord, I ask you now, I, I beg you, you know who are these people and where they are. So you know they need your presence within them. So they may have the strength to not just for a while or of, uh, do what is right for a, a period of time but keep doing it all the time all the time like you have done my god with so many men and women of faith that for years years they gave their lives to you and they are in this journey for years and they are faithful to you because they have your spirits abiding in them so do the same thing right now my lord because you see now how this person humble themselves before your presence how the how they humble themselves before you now i believe there are those who are on their knees crying repenting from all the wrong things they have done all the wrong choices and they are asking you, Lord, please have mercy on me. Come upon me with your spirit. Pour down your spirit, my Lord, upon me. Because I want to be faithful to you. I don't want to be this person that I have been until now. I want to change. My desire is to be faithful to you, live in holiness. And I know that it's difficult, it's hard, but I want to do it. And only your spirit can give me the strength that I need, the power that I need to defeat the spirit of sin. Only your spirit, my Lord, can give me that holy fear, godly fear to obey, to serve you. That's all that I want. Oh, my Lord, you are listening to the words of this person. So come upon them right now. Come upon those who are sincere before your presence. 
and those who say, Lord, my heart is open to you. My, my body, my life, my soul, my spirit are your temple, your home, your house. So pour down your spirit upon me, O Lord, right now and fill me. Fill myself, fill my being, fill my life with the spirit of salvation because I want to be saved. I want to follow your, your steps. I want to follow you. I want to be with you here while I'm here in this world and also for eternity. Oh, Holy Spirit, baptize this person now. Come upon them right now, my Lord. I ask you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your glory involve the mind, the soul, the spirit, the body of this person. May your presence, may your glory involve now their, their lives so they may feel your peace. Hallelujah. Your glory. May they receive this joy within them. Oh, my friends, be now baptized with the Holy Spirit. Receive the Spirit of the Lord Jesus. The Spirit that He said He would pray the Father to send us. So receive it now, be baptized now, have the certainty that you are a child of God, that you are born from Him, you are born from Him right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praised is your name, my God. Exalted are you, glorified be you, for all eternity in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and you may say amen and praise God you can have take a deep breath and how do you feel hmm? look if you have the certainty that you were, you, you were baptized now with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen for that. You can share your testimony with the pastor in the church. Go to the church and say to the pastor, Pastor, I was baptized with the Holy Spirit this morning. <laughs> and if you don't have the certainty, but you felt good during this prayer, well, the Holy Spirit is right there next to you. You keep, you need to keep seeking Him even more, even more. And very soon, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. You can be sure of that. Very soon, you will receive the Spirit of God inside of you. And everything will be different. You will never be, never again, the same person that you, you were until now. And also many other things will change in your life. Well, I want to end our today's program. Tomorrow I will return with all of you, same time, and bringing to you another tip, another step for you to receive the Holy Spirit. So remember the one that we said, we spoke today. If you want to obey the truth, if you want to obey to God's word, that's a sign you are showing to the Holy Spirit that you really want to receive Him and you need Him to guide you by the truth. Okay? God bless you all and see you tomorrow. The Fast of Daniel. 21 days to feed on the Word.